hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba. And this is prayer and the prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The title of this particular prophetic word says, God knew what you said when you were taking your bath. And that is why he made you came across this prophetic word. God specifically made you to come across this particular prophetic word. God specifically made you came across this particular prophetic word or if you're watching me right now he specifically wanted you to watch this i'm looking for for a present tense i'm looking for something that is is going to fix the english to be present he specifically knew you were coming across this particular prophetic word oh wow. okay thank you lord jesus hallelujah praise the lord You've been family, of course, you know that I love you so much. And my prayer for you is that the good Lord blesses you, reward your consistency. Let God uplift you. Let God do a new thing, an amazing thing in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I love you so much. I do. I love you. Now, let's go straight to this particular prophetic word. It's... It's a good thing when we begin to understand the fact that God knows us. You know, the Bible says when an angel, when an angel of the Lord appeared unto Gideon, he looked at Gideon and he said, Gideon, thou mighty man of valor. Oh my goodness. He was so surprised. Mighty man of valor. When all this while I've been praying and it seemed like you're silent. It seemed like you've not been hearing me at all. Like you don't even have my time. That is how it felt. You know, I told somebody, it's a lady. She used to be so worried about her life. And because of that, she would say all sort of things. She said, God doesn't love her. And rather than her living like this, God should take her life. God should kill her. I used to be very angry whenever she says that. Because God listens when you say that. He listens to you. He hears you. So <clears throat> I kept telling her God had a better plan for her. I kept telling her everything was going to be fine and everything was going to be okay. And not long from then, everything I told her started coming to pass, one after the other, before her own very own eyes. And then I spoke to her. I said, you have to plead for mercy. You really have to plead God, beg God for mercy. I said, because each and every one of those things that you said, they will come to pass if you don't beg God mercy you know why the bible says decree a thing and it shall be established words are seed when you bury them they will eventually germinate in nature so whatever you're saying you've got to be very careful i've told her and i always tell her beg god for mercy lest you start seeing these blessings in your life and then you die in the early because of the words you told the lord to take you early. Somebody you're watching me right now, 
you were having, you were in the bathroom, your bathroom, and then you started thinking all by yourself. You started feeling so lonely. You felt lonely. You felt like your age is passing, time is passing, and nothing great is happening to you. Nothing amazing is happening to you. You felt so bad and you started asking, when? And how is it even going to happen in the first place when I'm just like that? You have so much loneliness in the inside of you. And even though there are people around you, you still feel lonely. You still feel left out. You still feel like you're all by yourself. You know, the Lord hurt you. He saw you through that particular instance in that particular moment of your life. And that is why he led you to this particular prophetic word. You are amazing. You're wonderful. And you're different. When the time for your blessings come, God will fix things for you. And you will be one of those people that will be so surprised and ask the Lord. So you were working out things for my good and I did not know. You're going to ask God that particular question because you will see it happen and you will see it manifest. I want to pray for you. God knew that you're going to come across this particular word to give you that peace that you need in the inside and that assurance. Very soon, you're going to give God all the praise and all the adoration. I pray for you. Let patience that is virtue bring results to you and in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I activate the blessings of God over your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. God is doing something great and something amazing for you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. You will see God come true for you in another dimension. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine in you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, I want to beg you in the name of the Lord. If these have been of great help and blessings to you, I want to beg for your prayers. Kindly do well to pray for me, please. Don't stop praying for me. Always keep praying for me. Call my name in the place of your prayer. Please pray for me. Ask the Lord to do whatever you want him to do in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you so much. And by the special grace of God, I'll see you all in our next prayer session. God bless you. Shalom.